So we're gonna go ahead and plant our tomatoes. What we're gonna do is they need to be at least two feet apart. So I'm probably gonna, since we're using a four by four bed, probably gonna plant one here and one over there. So I'm gonna dig my hole. It is just a really good foundation for those roots. It helps uh, develop a very strong and healthy plant. So you're gonna wanna put this right at the roots. So these guys are ready to go in the ground. So I dug a hole. They need to be at least uh, 24 to 36 inches apart. That's two to three feet. So uh, we wanna give them plenty of room. So I did that. Um, I'm probably going to plant some basil in here with them. A basil, basil is a great companion plant for tomatoes and also goes in a lot of the same dishes. So I'll probably plant some basil next to it. Uh, it's supposed to help uh, repel bugs as well and improve the flavor of your tomatoes. But what I did was I dug the hole larger than the size of the plant to make sure that those roots go all the way down to the bottom. We of course put our tomato cage on. You're going to want to do that right in the beginning because they start getting big quick and then you might accidentally break part of it trying to get that uh, tomato cage on. One other thing I want to mention, I just shot a beautiful video. I sent it to Joel. He's going to post it. He's going to link it into this video of a sphinx moth just uh, uh, feeding away on a petunia. And so I wanted to mention to you that the sphinx moth I am a pollinator gardener, so I always want to add something in about the pollinators if possible. And uh, the sphinx moth is actually the tomato hornworm. They, the hornworm looks a little scary, um, but I usually have one, at least one sacrificial tomato plant that I will move them to uh, because they are very important pollinators and super cute. So I'll just, uh, you know, they look a little scary. They don't, they're not, uh, you know, they don't hurt you. Uh, they're not poisonous, but uh, you know, you might be a little intimidated to pick them up. So what I usually do is I'll just cut off part of the stem uh, and uh, just take the, the stem with the big tomato hornworm on it and put it on my sacrificial tomato plant. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions or need any help, please come by and see us. We also have a brand new learning center on our website that it is just a wealth of information. Uh, we've got blogs on almost everything you can think of. Uh, check it out um, and you'll probably get your questions answered there. But we are always happy to talk with you, show you uh, some different things, products, recommendations, that kind of thing. So feel free to come on in and see what we've got too, getting lots of new merchandise, uh, lots of new plants for the spring. So thank you guys so much for watching. Take care, have a great day.